Well, welcome back, my fantastic artistic friends. What you see before you is a black canvas, and it looks really black. But what I've done is I've taken a, a big old canvas. This is about two foot by 18 inch. It, I've coated it in black acrylic primer, allowed that to dry completely, and then I've coated it with some transparent oil paints. In here, in this, this region here, we've got Indian yellow, and just above that, we've got Liz and Crimson and in places we've got a bit of blue this is thalo blue down here we have got some more thalo blue and a little bit of Van Dyke brown the transparent so you can't really see on the canvas what they are and what we're going to paint today is a nice little uh, like a sunset with a waterfall and if it all goes well we'll have a, a nice tree in there so let's crack on with it so on a fan brush we're hitting the titanium white and we're gonna start here in here around about here it's a sunset, so it's going to be pretty dark. And we're going to make little rocking sort of motions. And that'll pick up the colour that's underneath, the, no, that's on the canvas. And we'll start seeing that colour just jump out of the canvas. Just like so. Like that. And we start off with small little strokes and then work his way up and get bigger and bigger just like that wipe the brush on a little bit of a paper towel and then back into some more titanium white and we'll start off again here we want this bit to be the brightest spot this is where the sun would be going down i suppose and we can just make all sorts of nice sunsetty shapes i hope you can see that with me um, in the way see we're hitting the blue up there now because we've got crimson in here it stops the yellow hitting the blue and producing a, a green sky that's not what we want in this painting we want a nice we want a nice yellowy sunset come in here and don't kill all this dark area don't want to destroy all that a bit more here wherever they should be that's exactly where they should be just side to side just swirling them in there just like that and then we'll come back and we'll blend it all smooth it all out a bit more white in there This a Liz and Crimson makes a gorgeous, gorgeous sky colour. All we're doing is using white paint to tickle it. There we go. About down there should be right. Just like that. Maybe a little bit more white here. Really sparkly off. Like that. Right, I'm going to grab a dry brush. A dry brush. Be sure it is dry. And then we're just going to blend it. Okay. And just slowly blend out now i'm taking the light color into the dark i'm not taking this dark color into the light just the light color into the dark at the... <laughs> yeah. just blend it all together smooth it all out take the brush strokes out These will look like little clouds. Now, if the canvas is moving, it's because I'm actually putting a little bit of pressure on. And you can move this paint. Look at that. What colours? What colours? Make it softer. Just by rubbing away, we can make this softer and softer. We're going to have some trees on this horizon line anyway, so. 
just like that. Get up here. Bring it all together. That looks, that looks a, a nice sky, doesn't it? <laughs> I hope you can see that. I hope you can see that. Yeah. Usually I have to make them quite bright because of the, of the, uh, of how, how the, the camera is set up. Well, I'll just get some more titanium white. Or proper zing these off up here just rocking rocking that brush from side to side maybe a bit over here as well but I don't know don't really don't really care just so free so free Take the white down there. Grab the dry brush again. Smooth all this out. That's it. And this one. There we go. There. Right. That looks like a nice evening scene. I'm going to brighten that. Just a touch more, I think. I really want it to zing out. So maybe a little bit of cad yellow in with the titanium white, just here. Really put a big, nice sunny glow. Right, let's get the brush again. Smooth and blend all this together. And how's about that? So it's just slightly less than halfway. Oh, sorry, so just slightly more than halfway. Right. There. Right, let's work on some trees that go across this tree line. So I'll take a round brush and I'm going to touch we're going to have sap green on this we're going to have sap green and we're going to come in here and we're just going to touch we'll just have a tree line that works its way across here we might put some evergreen trees in this as well these will be quite dark silhouetted against the uh, against the sundown that's it just there just sap green on a rounded brush sorry if the canvas is jumping i am eating this quite hard a bit more here and there there and here Maybe a bit of maybe a bit of black in that. Darken it off a bit more. You could put brown in, I suppose. You could put crimson in. Choice is yours. We don't know. In fact, I'll do that. A bit of brown. Just there. And with that, we've got the indication of a little tree line just working down there right let me just grab a palette knife and I'm just gonna you've got to look for these you probably can't tell on camera but some little there nice little tree trunks right let's get back to the fan brush with the white paint on and I'm just going to lift up slightly where this tree line is just right at the base 
I'll give a little misty, little misty spot right there. And it will also give the indication of lots of little tree trunks and all sorts. Just so like that. When you get them too right, just move them away. Just lift them up like that. We're going to have a waterfall somewhere here, I believe. Somewhere like that, I think. I think. But it could change. We don't know yet. We don't know yet. We don't know yet. Okay. That's it. Right. Let's move on. Let's move on. Now, let's create some water. What do we need? We need some white paint. And I'm just grabbing these on a, a big old brush and because there's blues underneath this this white paint will appear blue and we hit the canvas so just pull straight down straight down just like so we don't know where it's gonna go it's just coming straight out of the imagination. Maybe a touch of yellow in that, because that's where his brightest spot is. So we'll put a bit of yellow in there as well. Because blue and yellow make a nice green, but that's okay in water, we don't mind that. Okay, and then gently across. So warm today, so warm, beautiful day. I can imagine, I can imagine that at some point today, the sky will look like this. All right, right, so I picked up the palette knife, I'm mixing a bit of burnt sienna and Van Dyke brown. I'm gonna come back in here, just put a bit of land. Probably can't see that on camera, but it's there, it's there, just there, like that. Just a bit of land for all these trees to sit on. We don't want them falling in the water now, do we? Make a big old splash. Only thing that should splash in water is a big old bike. <laughs> Did you see that video? Coin Patrol video. And my son was on there as well, Fishing Frenzy. So if you haven't checked him out, go check out his fishing channel, catches some awesome fish. Not like me, I have to use I have to use pennies and things like that. Right, so we've got a bit of land on there, let's a little bit of highlight. So just, just white. Just all across here. Just a bit of highlight, not much. Remember, it's silhouetted. Just like that. There. Happy days. Right. There. Right, let's have a look. We know a little bit of a water line underneath all that now. So, a bit of white, liquid white, straight up here. We'll cut in a nice little watery line all along this bank. There. Keep your knife nice and parallel to the base of the canvas. If you're not, you're going to end up painting uphill. And that's not what we want. Okay, right, let's have a look at this now. I think we're going to put a waterfall. I think we should have a waterfall in. I think we'll have some rocks here and there. So, let's get the, let's get the fan brush with a nice bit of white paint on there. Titanium white, probably a bit of thin paint as well. Some liquid white. We'll come along here. Make those sounds, make those sounds. Waterfalls are one of the most beautifulest things in nature. 
they really are. And we can feather that back. Okay, so good. We'll put one on the other side, eh? We'll put one on the other side. Let me grab some more liquid white. Not much though, not much. We don't want to have runny water now. <laughs> so come straight along and straight down. Straight down, straight down. That easy, that easy. Feather that back. Just like that. Probably put a rock there. Put a rock here. Okay. And then down here, it's going to be running water. It's going to be all. It's not going to be laying perfectly flat. There's going to be all sorts underneath this. When we get down here, we can start pushing up a bit of white paint. There. Crashing and splashing and foaming. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, just like that. Feather it out. Feather it out this way. There. Right. So we pick up the brown paint. Maybe a touch of black in there as well. And a rounded brush and then we'll just put a little rock. Yeah, I like little rocks in the middle of waterfalls. place where the little kingfisher feels safe on one of these rocks right wipe off the excess paint on a paper towel and then we'll just pick a bit of white paint up mix that in to the browny colors that we've made and then just on one side just a little bit of highlight that peter off down into the into the water right back with a fan brush with the white paints on and we'll just neaten that edge up just there like so same on this side there and blend it back yeah we've got a pretty nice little waterfall We don't know where this little river's going. <laughs> I don't really care. We're going to put something here. I think I think we'll have a nice little grassy area here. Da -da -da -da. I'll put a bit more foam in there. Right, just like that. I seem to have ruined it. <laughs> there. That looks better. That looks meaner. That looks that looks nicer. Right, let's get let's get crazy. We need a rock now. To hold this side up and this side. So, same again. Burnt Sienna, Van Dyke Brown, touch of black. Don't over mix the paint. And up we come. So, just in here, we'll just put in a rock. You probably can't see that. I hope so. <laughs> it's looking quite good from where I'm stood, but. Uh, just a nice little rock. We don't have to care less about in here because it's already black and, and dark for us. On the other side, we'll put another big stone there. Just to case all this waterfall in. We don't want it running too wild on us. There, like that. like that right mix a bit of white paint into that not much just a touch in fact I'm going to grab a little bit of the bright red and put it into that color and then just graze the edge of this just graze it just like we would do when we put snow on a mountain very lightly the reds in this stony color go well with the the sky just down here there 
I like it. I like it. There we go. In fact, we'll put a little smidgen of red on this one. Can't leave this little stone out. Can't leave the little stone out. There we go. And when this dries, it'll be quite thick. It'll be quite thick. So you'll be able to feel these stones. There, just like that. Wipe the old knife off down here. Right, we'll work on some foliage in this foreground. So for that, let me get a fan brush, a clean one. Uh, which size shall we go? Uh, go for this one, I think. This is a big old number eight fan brush. And I'm just going to take it through the greens. So sap green. And a touch of cad yellow. And then we can just come in here. A lot of paint on this brush. Big brush. About an inch and a half wide. And then we can start working working on some foliage there'll be a lot of foliage living out here a lot of mist a lot of water a lot of sunshine there we go just drop it in wherever you think there should be Keep them down there. Now if the paint is not sticking, because there's a few layers of paint on now, you need to thin the paint slightly. Now to do that, a bit of paint thinner, or a touch of liquid white, or a touch of liquid clear. Liquid white will make it brighter, so I think I've just done that. Liquid white, so come in there. Change the value of the of the grass. Bring this down to the water's edge. The colour really jumps off off these black canvases. It really does look really smart. I'm gonna get a bit of Indian yellow mixed in with that. There we go, change the change the flavour of the paint. A bit more there, a bit more there. down here, there we go, how's it looking so far folks, <laughs> I tell you what did you see that that postcard I sent Christopher collects, that was something else wasn't it, that was bonkers, <laughs> but he seemed to enjoy it, which is, which is the main thing, which is the main thing, okay, there we have it. There we have it on this side. Maybe a bit of there, here and there. Really sparkle these up, really sparkle them up. Right, let's have a look on the other side. I don't want to leave that side out. So same again, so we'll just sneak above the rocks. And down like so. Bit more greens, bit more blues, bit more yellows. Touch it. There, look at that. Just falls off the brush. There. How's it looking? How's it doing? Put some grass that's just dried out over there. Yeah. All sorts of mosses and grasses, anything you want, living out here. Load the brush again. The main thing is to keep the brush loaded full of paint. Yeah, there we go. All sorts, all sorts living down there. All sorts. Right, I think we need something. We need a tree or something, don't we? Just add a few more ferns down here, I think. There we go. Alright, 
we need some here so let's get a big tree on the go so just same rock color basically and we'll drop in the trunk of a big tree wow that is a big old tree <laughs> so van dyke brown and burnt sienna just mixed together just like that there we go remember trees generally need to be a little bit wider at the the feet of them you want to make them slightly wider there let's give him a give him a branch or two and we'll come back in and highlight put a branch up here as well Like that, like that. Right, grab the palette knife. Right, let me wipe the palette knife. So, burnt sienna, a bit of red and a bit of white. Bit of red, bit of white. Burnt sienna. In fact, I'm going to throw a tiny touch of Indian yellow into that mix, just to glow it up. We'll have some reflected light off this. And just down one side, we're just gonna tap. Tap, 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 tap. There we go. Just tap, tap, tap. You can vary the colors slightly, so I might go back in and get some more sienna, which is a lovely chocolatey brown color. Come in there like that. Could even just a touch of white here and there. Really sparkle that back off. And again, when this dries, it'll feel super, super realistic. Right, let's let's not leave these arms out. Just a little bit of highlight there. Up here. A little bit of highlight there, just like so, just like so. And there's a million ways to make trees. There is a million ways. In the next video, I'll show you our different way how to make a tree. I think we'll have a silver birch and the other trees on the next video. That's the choice. I'm gonna go with it. Right, bit of white paint, a bit of phthalo blue, not much, not much, and we're gonna, in fact, if it's got some of that mucky tree colour in already, reflected light, so blue makes a good, cool shadow colour, so we'll add this onto the shadow side of the tree, all the way up here like that and then forgive the arm we'll create a bit of shadow here all the way up all the way up all the way up come across bring this branch in front a little tiny touch up here we'll put some foliage on this give it some leaves i haven't thought of what kind of leaves we're going to give it but we will do we will do looks like just a big catapult doesn't it so there we go a bit more of the darkers, darker browns. Could even go into a touch of crimson here and there as well. Really give it some some colour. Right, let's look at what we've got. So I pick up the script brush and get a bit of paint thinner into that dark brown colour, and then we'll just. Put on a few little twigs, just a few. Again, we'll put some foliage up here, so leaves and, and foliage really cover up a multitude of sins. If you've got a part of your painting you don't like, just put a tree in front of it. That really works. <laughs> right, there we go. Maybe. A few down here. There'll be all sorts of sticks and 
next week. We'll come back in with a green paint in a moment, neaten all this lot up. A few over here as well. Da 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 Done. Right. Wash the brush. Odorless paint thinner. Across paper towel. Right. I'm going to grab the rounded brush. Now the rounded brush, I don't know if you can see that. Got a rounded tip. <laughs> Be careful I'll say that. So I'm hitting the... <laughs> Hitting the greens, the browns, the ochre colours, a bit of crimson, anything we want, anything we want. Okay, and just up here, we'll put some, we'll put some foliage. Really do love this brush for creating foliage. Now, if your paint's not sticking, you need to add a tiny touch of paint thinner. Don't use liquid white when we're using dark colours. Actually, you'll end up with a, like a mucky grey colour. Unless you want a mucky grey colour. See, we seem to have covered all this with these sticks up. But that's okay. We know how we made them. When we're practising making something and works well for us, it's not wasted. Go. Right, there we go. Just like that, maybe a bit more. Right, so now all we need to do now is highlight this. So it's this same dirty brush straight into the yellows. And because we've got blues on there and, and uh, blacks and everything else that we picked up, it's going to be a really nice colour, like a green. Just on the sunset side, we're gonna put some, put some of this color. There we go. I'm not hitting at random here. I'm thinking about individual clumps of, of leaves. There we go. Try and make the tree rounded as well. Yeah, it's looking pretty mean. Looking pretty, a mean tree. I'd like to go climb this tree and build a den or a tree house. <laughs> I always used to climb trees. Problem, climbing trees wasn't too bad. It was getting out of them that, that seemed to be a bit problematic. Okay, I'm just going to touch, a tiny touch of liquid white. I'm going to mix that with the yellow ochre. Same dirty brush, I've not washed the brush yet. And then ever so gently, here and there, there and here, just a sparkler. Just a sparkler of green. Again, this in real life, this would be almost black, silhouetted, but we can do anything on here, can't we? We can do anything. Oh, we've created some foliage. We really have. That's one thick tree. Needing this foot up down there, just like that. Get a touch of crimson in. There we go. I think we've got a finished picture. I think we have. Whoop. So, to sign this one, a little bit of paint thinner. Bright red. Oil paint, pick a corner. It's usually best in a corner. I've never found it quite beneficial to sign it somewhere in the center. <laughs> well, I suppose some artist would do. I just initial this and I give it a full signature on the back. Right, there we go. How do you enjoy this one, my fantastic friends? Let me know. Did you like it in real time? Did you like the commentary? And until next time, you take care of yourself, stay safe, and as always, happy days.